Your past achievements are holding you back. Believe me, they are. Here's why. I'm going to give you all the details. You, you, you are dwelling so much on your past achievement to the point where it is preventing you from making new ones. Believe me, you meet people who are all constantly talking about their past achievement, what they have done in the past, how amazing it was. I agree with you. I'm not saying you shouldn't be proud of your achievements. They are in the past. Now, what are your new achievements? It is great to talk about past achievement. Don't get me wrong. I am not trying to discourage people to not uh, talk about their past achievement. As great as it sounds, I'm here to let you guys know that you need to move on from that. If you keep dwelling on that, you will not make new ones. There are still bigger achievements out there waiting for you to make. Have you thought of those? The past should sometimes remain in the past so we can look into the future. Because if we constantly look backward, there's no way we know what is in front of us. It's time for you to look in front of us. I mean, sorry, it, it is time for us to look in front of us and see what is going on. Whatever we've done in the past is great. How about the future? How about now? Don't you think you can make bigger than that? This is me. My philosophy is that I believe that there's something bigger out there to achieve, always, constantly. This is me. I believe I can become bigger than what I am. I believe I can become fitter than what I am. Okay? Saying that, hey, I was fit in the past, or I had money in the past, but now I don't. Or um, I used to do this in the past. I used to drive this car, or I uh, used, you know, whatever it is. Whatever the achievement is for you in the past, let it go. If you used to be fit in the past, why don't you fit now? If you used to make so much money in the past, why don't you make that money now? The different circumstances and reasons, you know, for us to justify why we enjoy talking about the past, our past achievements, then what is facing us? We said the future and the future is now. The future is not tomorrow. Believe me, because what you do now will determine your future. Your future is now. We are not talking about tomorrow. I'm talking about, about now, okay? Forget about the past. I'm happy that you achieved great things in the past. I'm here to encourage you that there are even greater things that you and I or everyone in your life can achieve. Walk towards it now. If you don't walk towards it and enjoy talking about the past, you will never know your potential. Your potential is being diminished by you constantly talking about your past achievement. Your future potential is in no, I mean, your future potential is a non-existence now because of you, because you keep talking about what you've done in the past. You don't want to get over it and move on. You see the time? You see what we call time? Time moves forward, not backward. And you live in the world that is governed and guided by time. Take that example. Why does time move forward and not backward? You understand that analogy? You will start moving forward, not backwards. As for me, forward, forward. That's why I'm teaching health. That being said, let's choose health and choose the future. But guess what? Our future is now, not tomorrow. Bye.